Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Dan Hines from Hines Coaching. And Dan, you're going to tell us how to set some financial goals or how to yes. handle our family budget for the year? <laughs> Absolutely. So what we talked about last week was in order to get financially fit for 2015, there's three major things you need to do. One was set a goal. The second is to start budgeting. And the third is to have an emergency fund. Um, so today, what we'll talk about is that first step is setting a goal. because. In the end, a lot of families, when they try to start budgeting, it's well-intentioned. But if they don't have a goal, if you don't have a, a finish line that you're starting to run to, you're not really going to win. Mm -hmm. um, and so, especially with trying to budget or even getting on a diet or exercising, is that sometimes you've got to say no to some stuff. But if there's nothing there to say yes to or a yes, uh, a goal that you're trying to get towards, saying no gets harder and harder and harder. What and type of goal would you, uh, you were talking about something very specific, like maybe mm -hmm. getting a new car? Or, or, oh, that's or a good like question. That. Well, it, it really depends on the family. Um, when I work with my clients uh, and families to start budgeting, I want married couples to work together. Uh, mm -hmm. So whatever the goal is that you two agree upon, if you are married, if you're single, you can kind of pick whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's pay off a credit card or pay off a student loan or, uh, you know, pay off your car. Or it could be something fun, like save for vacation. Okay, so that's that's your goal. Yes. All right, mm -hmm. so, so we set that goal, and now in order to execute that goal, what do we have to do? Yes, so you, you do have to start budgeting, um, but with setting that goal, make sure that you're not setting too high of an expectation. Don't mm -hmm. say, well, I'm going to pay off the credit card in a month, or I'm going to try to get out of debt within the year. It might be too difficult. And At some point, you're going to have to sit down and do the <laughs> math on this. Yes, yeah. yes. Make it reasonable, because mm -hmm. a lot of us say, oh, I'm going to make a goal way up here, and it just gets too high and we quit too soon. So do something that's attainable. Yes, absolutely. And baby steps to say, okay, well, if I want to get uh, pay off this credit card by June, then how much do I need to do each month and break it down into little baby steps. And then when you have that goal and you know each month here's what I need to do, you can start to put that into your budget and you work together with a spouse or just maybe a an accountability partner to help you with that an as well. An accountability partner. Yes, I like that. It's <laughs> sort of like AA, you know, I'm over here in the shoe department and I need some help. Oh yeah. man, I'm the same I'm the same <laughs> way. It's like <laughs> Honey, I'm in the drive-thru for Chick-fil-A, and you've got to talk me out of it real quick. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, you can get a healthy choice yeah, at Chick-fil-A, so it's true. probably money true. well spent. Yes. So th th those three points, again, were what now? Okay, so you want to set a goal. Right. Um, you want to start budgeting. Start budgeting. And then you want to try to get an emergency fund set up, because if, you, if something happens and you don't have the cash sitting around, you've got to borrow money, you've got to put it on a credit card. I know we talked about that last time, about yeah. that emergency fund. Mm -hmm. And especially mm -hmm. with the holidays, when you're spending like crazy, oh, yeah. it's mm -hmm. very easy to lose track. Yes, and it a, is, yeah. absolutely. Well, and, and speaking of, and maybe that's your goal for next year, is that I'm just going to save up for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a Christmas fund where let's put 50 bucks away, 25 bucks, whatever you can afford, every month up until Christmas, because I don't know if you knew this, but Christmas comes every December. <laughs> And just every time it just happens yeah. and yeah. so you, what that could be your goal is just I want to save up for Christmas next year so we don't do this again you know my wife is very good at that she's had a Christmas club since she was a little girl yes and now here we are married 30 years she still has a Christmas club. oh absolutely yeah. and it works great yeah. and so once you have that first goal pick only one that's the most important is mm -hmm. just pick one and then after a couple months, once you get used to the budgeting and getting uh, towards that goal, you can add maybe a second or a third. But don't try to do three things at the same time either, because that sets that high expectation you don't really want to uh, get so, towards. So where does a family start with a budget? I, mm -hmm. I know we set the goal. Yes. We want to start with a budget. Do we just sit down with a blank piece of paper and start? <laughs> I mean, uh, well, it, and, uh, and we can talk about it more this uh, next week. Uh, but with the budget is a lot of families will write down all their bills. Mm -hmm. and they'll just make sure all those bills are paid. But that's not the best way to budget. Uh, best way to budget is a zero balance budget where you've got so much money coming in for the month, you plan where every dollar goes before the month starts, and that's your plan. So there's got to be some sort of template to start out with. Yes, you know? yes, and we can talk more about it uh, but next time as well. And, unless you're the U.S. government, you really can't, <laughs> you can't print money up. No. And you can't yeah. spend more than you earn or bring in. Exactly. But a lot of people fall into that trap. Right, uh, and so uh, you get into that trap of the credit card debt and that cycle, and that's the emergency fund that we can talk about as well. So uh, you need a certain amount of discipline. And just to recap, the, the, the three points to remember are to set a goal. Yep to budget, budget and to start setting up an emergency fund. Dan Hins from Dan Hins Hines Coaching. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Appreciate for, it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for slaughtering my name. That's all right. It happens all the time. Thanks for listening. <laughs>